Let's 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 do this. You're in a job interview. It's yep. your first time right now. What do you see yourself in 10 years from now? <sighs> well, <clears throat> see, people think I have a podcast. It's called the Stephen A. Smith Show on now on, that's, on, uh, on, the, on the YouTube you gotta listen channel. To it, follow it, and it, and it's and it's good, and I'm doing I'm doing pretty well. But it's not a podcast. It's a show. I built my own television studio. I'm planning on producing content. The podcast is for audio, so I got to deal with iHeart and it'll be on all their stations and they'll do all of that because that audio distribution matters because people like to listen to stuff when they're in their cars. So you certainly want that component that's available to you. But I'm a television guy. And so for me, when I see people you can have cameras, I think you're doing a great job. You're a professional athlete. You've got your three cameras and you've got your producers and it looks very professional and I'm very, very proud of you. Thank you. But to me, somebody in the media who isn't a professional athlete, um, if you're doing that, then you're doing what most people could do. Most people ain't gonna, produce a stu ain't gonna uh, build a studio. Most people is not going to have an engineer in charge, an associate producer, yeah. a, 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 a writer, an editor, a jib, a jib operator, three PTZ cameras and editors. and all. They ain't doing all of that because their whole thing is to be in front of the microphone and the camera and talk. My goal is to provide content, not just with what I'm doing, but with what I'm trying to build. And so I look not just for myself, but to discover talent. I'm looking for somebody that I want to pair with me to do my podcast. Ah. I'm planning on creating another television show that's going to be on the sports network. I'm planning on creating a show for politics that will go up against some of the political shows once a week. I'm planning on doing oh, you all have of this, this whole tree I, that has I, I its might own branches. Do, I might do it in a studio or I might do it in a studio that has room for a live studio audience. I'm entertaining all of those things because I'm trying to build a media company. I Ooh, want to produce okay. scripted and unscripted content while still being in front of the camera, while being behind the camera, while still being a, not just the talent and, and, and the star of yeah. First Take, but the executive producer of First Take. Everybody that's on First Take has been handpicked by me. The, company gave, me, the really? company gave me the license to do it. That's another reason why I don't tolerate any nonsense from the athletes. You got the platform. When you want to come on? You got some, you got, what, a, pro you got a problem. You got a problem with what I said? <laughs> you want to come on? Let's go. If you think that I'm trying to gain an advantage for my ratings, I'll come on yours. I'll come on yours. Would you pick as a co-host? Oh, yeah. Who, who'd you pick as a co-host? I don't know yet. Yeah, I, don't I haven't decided okay. because it's a lot of things. It's a lot of opportunities. And you know what? Hell, I might decide to throw out an open competition for the public out there to see oh who can do it. God, I'm, God. I might be willing to do that because for me, it's important to me that I'm 56, bro. I've been blessed. I'm from Hollis, Queens, New York. I grew up government cheese, welfare, watching my mother starve, scratch, scrimp do everything she can to save because my father wasn't the man that he needed to be to provide for my family. I wasn't blessed and fortunate enough to have that kind of role model as a father. He's passed away now, God rest his soul. I love him, I always will. But was I proud of him as a father? No. I was a mama's boy to the core because my mother's the greatest woman I've ever known and she passed away in 2017 and I miss her every day. But I gotta tell you something, after a long battle with cancer, but I gotta tell you something. When I reflect on my life and where I am, I'm not finished, I still got a lot to do. But damn, I'm 56, you know? And at this stage and point, with the money I've been blessed to have earned, with the opportunities that I've created for myself, how in the hell can I sit here with a straight face and act like I've achieved anything if all I've done is achieve for me? I didn't go out there and find young yeah. talent, you know, that the world should be exposed to, that folks could see and we could have an opportunity, I could have an opportunity to help somebody grow. One of the proudest uh, uh, things that I feel when when Shannon Sharp is out there and he acknowledges how I've helped Gotta him. Gotta get him on the show, it, it, wanna he, get him on the show, he's a beast. He's, he's, he's a good dude, man. But you know, he's private, but he's a good dude. He don't bother nobody, he's a really good dude. But when when, when I when I hear him talk about you know, that, that he appreciates me. When I hear Ryan Clark, 
you know, who just got a new contract, talks about he appreciates me when Kendrick Perkins and the Monica McNutts of the world. And, you know, uh, I mean, I, I look at these guys and so many Molly Karam and everybody else in between the people who come on the show, the people who have been in this business, Vincent Goodwill for Yahoo and Rob Parker and others over at Fox and Chris Broussard. And, and these are a lot of Man, my friends. There's a lot of my the, friends. The, the creme de la creme of, a, of a, the media these space. Are, these <laughs> are my friends. These are, these are, these are my friends. And you know, when I see these people, man, and they talk about whatever little thing that I've done to help them, it, it means a lot to me because if I'm not helping somebody else along the way, then I'm not doing anything. My pastor says, it's better. I'm not the most religious person in the world, but yes, I do love the Lord. Yes, I do go to church. Yes, I do try to do the right things, but I ain't perfect. But my pastor always says, there's no success without a successor. And if you haven't helped folks mm -hmm. on the come up, be what they could be, then what are you? I got these brothers, the sports brothers in Miami how did they really, really jump off? They were coming on two in the morning and they asked me to come on their show. And they told the audience that I would come on. And at 2.30 in the morning, I was on the line, just as a favor to them because they were young brothers on the come up and nobody, they weren't, they weren't gonna get anybody to do that. And so I'm thinking about, Isaiah Thomas, the great Isaiah Thomas, two-time champion for the Pistons and Hall of Fame point guard, all that stuff. He gave me my first interview from a professional athlete when I was a high school reporter for the New York Daily News in 1993. That's what he did for me. He didn't have to do that. And I think about so many people along the way that have helped me and I'm like, it's the least I can do. I can't do everything for everybody but I always want everybody to know I'm gonna always do what I can yes, sir. to help. And that's really what it's all about, man. And that's well, how you sleep better at night when you do that. Yes, sir. By the way, I really appreciate you for coming to the show, coming to Milwaukee, showing us some love yes. and stuff like that. Uh, I do I do have a segment I do with every sure. guest and I was kind of wondering if I was gonna do it with you, but so it's called Animal Facts. And it's, and it's Animal called, Facts? Yeah. Oh Lord. <laughs> Oh Lord, I'm, I'm, scared. Is, uh, I'm scared. I don't yeah. know if I'm gonna get one answer right, but yeah. go ahead, man. So it's called uh, it's true and false. I'll, I'll give you just just three of them. True or false? Yeah, okay, so go ahead. Let's do it. I'm gonna read the sen the sentence, and then you decide if it's true or false. Okay. Okay. Uh, the horn of a rhino is actually made of like compressed hair and not bone. False. It's actually true. What? Yes. <laughs> it's not made of bone. It's made of compressed hair. Yeah. Yes. The horn of a rhino? Yes, altogether. Yes. Hair can get that damn hard? Yes, sir. Oh, you, remember the, you remember the song when uh, Lil Wayne went like tough and then Nigerian hair? And then, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I is, got you, big, I got you. Okay. okay, okay. Okay, so that's one. In Alaska, it is illegal to whisper in someone's ear while they're moose hunting. True. It is true. True. It's illegal. True. Yeah, you, you, you hunting. You can't be whispering somebody <laughs> ear while they hunting. You can't do that. They can interrupt. They can interrupt. I mean, that's yeah, right. So, and it's cold out there. That's near Russia. I'm not trying to sound like former <laughs> vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin, but I'm just saying. It's, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not trying to say you can see Russia out of your backyard, but I'm just saying, like, damn. Yeah, that sounds very reasonable. And, you know, I've heard a lot of stuff about some stuff in, in, in Alaska. It makes me scared to go there. Some of these damn animals and stuff like oh, yeah, that. They, they, they do have a certain yeah, way. But yeah, Carlos Boozer was telling me about that because he's from there. Really? Carlos Boozer. He's from really? Alaska. And he was telling me about that. I said, what? You know, he's talking about they got to run from these wild animals, stuff like that. I said, man, I ain't going. You I ain't gonna. No, you can't. No, 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 yo, yo, I roll like that, bro. I roll like that. I ain't. I'm a city boy. I ain't into that wildlife <laughs> stuff. I ain't into that. I ain't down with that, bro. But I got that right. Okay, okay. Okay. I got and that then, right. Yeah, that's all, so it's one one. So we give it a third one to, to to hold the tie. So a snail can sleep for three years at a time. Three years at a time. <sighs> as slow as their ass is, it might be true. But let me think about that. Let me think about that. Three years. Yeah. That's a long time. It's a long time. That's a long it's time. So a thousand day plus, a thousand days plus. Three years at a time. Yeah. I'm gonna say true. It is true. It is true. <laughs> I'm gonna say true. 
I'm gonna say to anything that moved that damn slow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, yeah. it, it, it takes them about three years to get five feet, so it's reasonable. No, no, no. They, it's, it's reasonable. When I heard about the, I was like, the production team was like, I was like, no way. It was like, yeah, it just slowly and three just years. Sleep. Wow. Three sleep years for time. three years. Three years. That's time. a lot of rest. Yes. That's a lot of rest. By the way, you said before you would never go to Alaska. What about Greece? When you you coming to Greece? I'm coming to Greece. I'm coming, to, especially since I know you, man. I mean, listen, man, you told me all I got to do is call you. You direct me to the right spot. Yes, sir. Listen, I go out there, the NASA and Giannis, yo, I know them. Y'all better treat me right. I'll be damned if I get treated you, wrong in Greece. No, 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 no. I'm going to talk about y'all. Let me tell you something. You think I can talk about y'all on first takeover basketball. Let me go out to Greece and get mistreated. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be like, I'm going to nah. come back to America. Let me tell you, America, let me tell y'all something, man. <laughs> You know, I went out to Greece, and, and, and I mean, I mean, the brothers, they, I mean, damn. No, we're gonna show you I thought good I was going to get taken. I'm going to have you warm. I'm going to have your sweatsuits, everything. When yeah, I'm going to show you there. a great time. I promise you. I promise now, you. Now, I did see the beach out there. Water looks nice. No, water hey, looks nice. Hey, come yeah. experience it. It's going to be water, great. Water looks nice. With your family, bring everybody. Yeah. And again, I, you know, I, I have so much. Like, I would love to do this for an hour more, but <laughs> I have respect for your time. Right. But uh, the way I always end the show is it, with a quote always like, is there anything that that you read every oh, every day or something you listen to or something that gets you gets you going every day? You know what? For years, I used to, and I still do it at least twice a week. I used to listen to Hate Me Now. You can hate me now. Mm, Cause I won't stop now. You know, and then I love the line where he says, I like this. I like the way this feels. <laughs> you know, it's like, nah, because it's like, you know, when you're in my position, people come for you. And you gotta remember the whole format of first take. It's Steven, essentially, is it's Stephen A against the world. So oh. I'm debating any and all comers. It could be a guest, it could be a contributor, it could be somebody baseball, basketball, okay. football, boxing, it don't matter. You really do you really need to go up against me. And so my attitude is, is that, you know, you coming for me. Let's go. Okay. You know, and so that's how I treat it. And it's not it's not in a literal sense. It's not in a volatile sense. It's just a song that gets me up and puts me on alert. When 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time arrives, I got to be ready. So and that's oh, what I do. I, now I have another question. I know sure. this is okay. Last question though. So but you saying all of this and I and I you went back and forth a little bit and I see like you're really passionate. You really like, hey, I'm here. Who would you be in the NBA? A player? Yeah. If I was good enough? Who would you be? Who would you be like, that's, yeah, that's kind of my demeanor. That's kind of my. Kobe. Kobe. Okay. The demeanor? Yeah. And I think Giannis is the closest personality to Kobe. To Kobe. I really do. I would say Russ, Russell Westbrook, but the issue with Russell Westbrook is I think he has a chip on his shoulder that extends beyond the court of play, and he right. brings that on the court. Just as a black man growing up in the streets of LA and some of the challenges he had to deal with, you know, he caters to a lot of people we don't talk about and we don't know about. His um, this brother's special. Russell Westbrook's a special, special brother. I, I, and his I heart's in the right place. He's a really, really he's a really, really good brother. I got a lot of love for Russ. I really, really do. You know, and but but he he brings it. I wouldn't bring that stuff from the outside. But in the throes of competition. Oh yeah, if I if, if I had the skill set, my mentality would be Kobe. I, I want the spotlight, I want the shine, I want the pressure on me, and I'm coming to take you out. <laughs>